this morning, the body of Johanna Savanta Mendes Barrios was brought to the city by boat and transported to the morgue at the Carl Hirschman Memorial Hospital, where it awaits a post-mortem examination. The 22-year-old Honduran national had been living on the island since late last year and worked at the Compadres Bar in the Boca del Rio area of town. Sometime around 4 this morning, Mendes' throat was slashed inside her apartment about two blocks from where she worked. Sometime between 5 and 5.30 this morning, police were called out to the Basel Paris apartment complex in the Boca del Rio area where they assisted a female to the polyclinic. She apparently had a cotton to her throat. The female later died at the San Pedro Polyclinic. Mendes left work at midnight on Monday. It is believed that just before 1 a.m., she was visited by a man who arrived in a taxi and left the apartment complex minutes before police arrived on the scene. The blood trail at the Basel Paris apartment complex indicates that after Mendes' throat was slit, she made her way to a friend's room on the ground floor where she collapsed at the front door, fighting for her life. Police in San Pedro are currently reviewing surveillance footage to assist with the investigation, but a motive for the homicide is not known. Information so far is that she was at her apartment when someone entered and inflicted the wounds to her. One single cut wound. So far, we are looking for one person. Um, investigation is still relatively young, and so we... Um, this is the information that we have at this time. Now, uh, so it was an aggravated burglary that occurred that led to her demise? Well, at this time, we're not sure if it was an aggravated burglary because there are no signs of forced entry on the only main entrance to the door. We understand that how she works at a bar. Um, is it believed that maybe uh, this could have been triggered by maybe something that had happened there? Well, at this time, we are looking at all angles. Wherever the investigation takes us, that is where we'll go until we can resolve this issue. It is believed that Mendes knew her killer because there were no visible signs of forced entry into her apartment. But was she able to identify her attacker before she met her untimely death? I know you said that officers assisted her to the polyclinic. In that uh, vein, was she able to explain to them what had happened? She was not speaking much because of her condition. She did give police some information that we are acting on at this time. We believe that it was just a random incident at this time. Um, police are normally stationed in the San Juan area, Boca del Rio area. But as you know, it's a relatively large area. And so um, what we will continue to do is to ensure that we maintain patrols in that area. However, because her room is situated on the second floor of the building, it's not something that would have readily come to the attention of the police. Dwayne